Hello and welcome to Deakin Virtual Open Day for 2020. It's really terrific that so many of you have joined us here as we explore the law courses offered by Deakin University's Law School. My name is Dr. Sharon Erbacher. I am the Director of the Bachelor of Laws offered at Deakin University. As I'm going through my presentation today, keep in mind that we do have a team of experts working behind the scenes that can answer any questions that you might have about our courses. So if you've got a question, just pop it into the live chat area. We'll also have a live Q&A session immediately following my presentation. So I hope you'll be able to hang around for that as well. Before starting, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which our Deakin University campuses reside. The Wadawurrung people of the Kulin Nation on whose land our Geelong campuses are located. The Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation on whose land our Burwood campus is located. And the Gunditjmara people on whose land our Warrnambool campus is located. So today I'm going to be going through with you the benefits of studying law and in particular the benefits of studying a Deakin Law degree. I'll go through the key features of our Deakin Law degrees, as well as the entry requirements. I'll also talk to you about where you can go with a Deakin Law degree. So I'll talk to you about the sorts of activities and experiences that you, that you can participate in as a Deakin Law student and also about employment options for you once you've completed your degree. And then lastly, I'll talk to you about the support network that will be available to you as a Deakin Law student. Now, many of you will have joined us here today because you are interested in practicing as a lawyer in Australia. But even if that's not your career goal, you should still think very seriously about doing a Deakin Law degree. And that's because during your degree, you'll acquire a range of transferable skills that are very highly valued by employers. A law degree will help you develop skills in advocacy, reasoning, problem solving, critical thinking, analysis and communication. All of those skills are important for legal practice, uh, but they're also highly valued in other careers as well. Employers often seek out law graduates because they recognise that they do have advanced skills in problem solving and analytical reasoning. Now it might be that all you know about legal practice is what you've seen on the television in shows like Suits, where the lawyers are working for big commercial law firms and the only interests at stake are financial interests of large wealthy clients. But keep in mind that there are many fields in which you can work as a lawyer where you can promote social justice issues and bring about social change in areas that you might feel quite passionate about. So on completion of your law degree, you might choose to advise asylum seekers, or you might choose to represent people uh, with disabilities or operate more broadly in the human rights area. A law degree qualifies you to work in these fields. 
And I'll just give you one example of where lawyers are currently seeking to make a difference and bring about social change. You might have heard about a group of youth activists in Queensland who were challenging a proposed Queensland coal mine on human rights grounds. They're arguing that the coal mine would infringe various rights under the Queensland Human Rights Act, including the protection of children, the right to life and the right to culture. Now, of course, there are lawyers standing behind them actually running the legal action. The Environmental Defenders Office is running that action. So that's the sort of field that uh, you might want to get into once you complete your Deakin Law degree. So why Deakin Law in particular? At Deakin, we are renowned for our strong commercial law focus. So we have a very wide range of commercial law electives, including units like taxation law, intellectual property law, and workplace law. But we also are very strong in public law electives. So if commercial law doesn't seem like something you'd be particularly interested in, then keep in mind that we offer a wide range of public law elective units, including, for example, international law, human rights law, migration and refugee law. Deakin is also very well known for its practical and experiential focus. We have five Deakin Law Clinics, for example, in the areas of criminal law, workplace law and family law. And should you choose to, to take one of our Deakin Law Clinic elective units, you will be working on real client files under the supervision of real practicing lawyers. There's nothing simulated about it. You're working on actual client matters. Alternatively, you might undertake a legal internship where you'll receive a placement in a community legal service or a law firm. Or you might choose to source your own legal internship near where you live. And that legal internship can be in any job as long as it's in a legal environment. So as long as you're acquiring legal skills. As a Deakin student, you'll have the opportunity to participate in a range of domestic and international mooting competitions. And also keep in mind that even as a core part of our degree, we will develop the skills that you need for legal practice. Skills in legal research, statutory interpretation, client interviewing, alternative dispute resolution, and oral advocacy. Deakin Law School offers two degrees that satisfy the academic requirements for admission to legal practice in Australia. They are the Bachelor of Laws, often abbreviated to the LLB, and the Juris Doctor, or the JD. Both degrees are accredited by the Victorian Legal Admissions Board, which is the Victorian accrediting authority. But keep in mind that we have uniform admission rules throughout Australia. So if you're admitted in Victoria, you can practice in any other state or territory. On completion of your degree, you will need to complete a 12-month traineeship with a firm that's basically a clerkship or a six-month legal practice course. Okay, let's look at the Bachelor of Laws degree first. We offer a straight law 
degree, which is normally four years in duration. Uh, keep in mind though, that if you do have previous tertiary studies, then you may be able to get some credit towards your non-law electives. So if you've done at least eight tertiary units, so units at a tertiary level in the last 10 years, um, then you might get credit for those units, in which case you can uh, reduce your degree to three years. Uh, we also have a five-year undergraduate double degree, where we combine the law degree with a range of other degrees offered by Deakin University. And if you are a school leaver, then generally we would recommend to you that you study a combined degree. That way you have two degrees and you can acquire those two degrees in five years rather than the normal seven years. Our most popular combinations are commerce and arts, uh, but our new cyber security degree, which commenced this year and which is quite distinctive in the Australian legal marketplace, is one that is uh, becoming increasingly popular with students. And when we ask members of the legal profession what the emerging areas of legal practice are, they immediately say cyber security. So that's a, likely to be a real growth area uh, in law jobs. If you want to complete your degree more quickly, you can study over trimester three, our summer trimester, where we do have a range of compulsory and elective units on offer. Most degrees are offered on all three of our campuses, the Burwood campus in Melbourne, our Geelong Waterfront campus, and also online. There is a mandatory practical component. All students must complete at least one experiential elective unit to make sure that you'll work ready. Uh, that might be a law clinic, and we are developing online law clinics, uh, or it might be a legal internship. Uh, and you can, as I mentioned, if you are an online student and you're not based in Geelong or in Melbourne, uh, then you have the option of sourcing an internship near where you live. And I've already spoken about the fact we have a wide range of commercial and public law units. There's the all important question of how can you get in? If you are a school leaver, uh, then you will be accepted on the basis of your ATAR. So those are what we might, on the screen there, are what we might call the clearly in ATARs for, for 2019. So if you achieved one of those scores, then you would be guaranteed entry into a Deakin Law degree. But don't stress too much. If you really want to study law and you don't get the required ATAR, there are other pathways into law. And in particular, if you start off in a degree, either at Deakin or elsewhere in a non-law area, put your head down and work really hard for the first trimester and achieve a certain weighted average mark or WAM, then you can apply to transfer across to a Deakin law degree. So you would need a WAM of at least 70% for Burwood or 65% for Geelong Waterfront. So if, for example, you're really interested in a commerce law degree, but you don't get the ATAR you need for law, but you do for commerce, start off in a commerce degree at Deakin. And provided that you get the requisite WAM, you can then apply to transfer across to law. And it means you're not losing any time. You're gonna get credit for the commerce units that you've studied. So you can still do your, your degree within the five year timeframe. 
Uh, school leavers, well, the first pathway is essentially the same for you. If you successfully complete at least four credit points of study at a bachelor level or above from uh, an accredited higher education institute, if you've done that within the last 10 years, uh, then you can apply for law uh, if you have uh, the requisite WAM weighted average mark. So 70% for Burwood, 65% for Geelong Waterfront, 60% for Cloud. If you don't have the requisite course of study, then you can instead set the special tertiary admissions test, which is a multiple choice test. And you again need to achieve the percentile rank relevant for each campus. So if you're interested in the Burwood campus, for example, then you would need to achieve a percentile ranking of 70% in that test. Moving on to the Juris Doctor or the JD, that degree is designed for graduates who want a law degree that will qualify them for admission to legal practice. It's a three year postgraduate degree taught at the master's level. It is an entirely online degree, though you might have the option of coming on campus for revision sessions, should you wish to do that. But those sessions would be live streamed and made available online. Again, you can complete it over three trimesters if you want to accelerate your degree even further. You will have access to the sorts of experiential units that I mentioned before, but there is no mandatory experiential component unlike the LLB. Because it's a master's unit, it's going to be taught at a higher level than an LLB unit, than an undergrad unit. Uh, you can expect, for example, an increased emphasis on policy issues in the materials and in the assessment. And if you choose to do a JD, if you're, if you're a graduate and you choose to do a JD, then you'll be uh, studying alongside other students who are similar to you. They'll all be postgraduate, many with significant working and professional experience. And again, you can choose from a wide range of both commercial law and public law electives. Uh, how do you get in? The JD is a master's level qualification. So you need a bachelor's degree in a non-law area with a minimum WAM of 65% or a minimum WAM of 60% plus two years relevant work experience in a legal environment. Alternatively, a master's degree in a different discipline might qualify you for admission. I've mentioned before about how a, a deacon degree will provide you with the skill, skills that you need to be work ready. I've spoken about internships and the clinics and the mooting opportunities. Um, keep in mind that we do also normally offer study tours. Of course, they're not running this year, uh, but I'm sure by the time that you start your degree and have met the prerequisites for those study tours that um, things will be back to normal. Uh, so we offer study tours in UK law and in India law, for example. Now you might decide at the end of your law degree uh, that you would like to become a legal practitioner, a practice in law. There are two main types of legal practitioners, and you're probably aware of this. There are solicitors who do the transactional work for clients and who deal with clients on a daily basis. And then there are barristers who do more advice work and oral advocacy in court. A deacon law degree will qualify you to do either, but of course you do need a further period of practical training in order to do both of them. But 
On the screen, there's some examples of the sorts of areas that you might decide to specialise in. Uh, you might decide to specialise in an area of commercial law like contract or tax law. But if that's not your bag, uh, you might instead choose something like criminal law, human rights law or refugee law. Sometimes you do hear that there is an oversupply of lawyers, but keep in mind that there are always expanding areas of law and new emerging areas of legal practice. I spoke about the um, growing need for lawyers in the cyber security area before. You might be worrying that the COVID-19 pandemic is going to have a really detrimental impact on your employment opportunities. But keep in mind that whenever there is a crisis in the community, there is always going to be a need for lawyers to mop things up and to advise people about what their rights and liabilities are. Um, so for example, on the screen there, I've given you some examples of legal areas that are actually taking off because of the COVID-19 pandemic pandemic. Um, there is a, an increasing need for lawyers who specialise in the area of corporate insolvency and corporate restructuring, in the area of personal bankruptcy and debt recovery. Even for contract lawyers, because there will be contracts that can no longer be performed because of the pandemic and lawyers are required to advise clients about their rights and obligations under the contract in that situation. But maybe legal practice won't particularly interest you. Um, there is still a value to a law degree, as I mentioned, because it will open up opportunities for you in a very wide range of areas. Many of our students will go and work for businesses or go and work for the public service, the state public service or the Commonwealth public service. Um, they might go and work for the police. Uh, obviously, you would be aware that many people who work in politics have law degrees. So a law degree really opens up a very wide range of employment fields for you. If you enrol in a Deakin law degree, there'll be an extensive support network for you. I might just mention the Deakin Law Students Society, which offers a range of career and networking events and opportunities, and which also runs a number of social activities, which of course is particularly important if you're coming uh, to university straight from school. I'll also mention the mentor program if you're a school leaver where you can be assigned a mentor for the first six weeks of your degree in order to smooth your transition to university. And Deakin Talent uh, is our employment division and it provides workshops in areas like writing a legal resume or preparing for a legal interview. And those are conducted by special legal recruitment experts. You might be thinking of studying online and keep in mind that Deakin has over 40 years of experience in online learning. We haven't had to scramble to put learning online this year because we were already doing it. We like to say online learning is in our digital DNA. So we have all of the infrastructure that is necessary to support you as an online student. All our unit sites are online and you can access all the support services you need like library support, IT support, course advice support, all online. Well, thank you everyone for joining me in this session. I'm so pleased that there's so much interest in doing a Deakin Law degree. Uh, you can visit our 
open day website, which does have some further information. Uh, but we're also hoping that you will stay around and join us at the live Q&A session, which will be starting now. Thanks for joining us.